getting a little low. Place in order, I guess. So we'll get some of that the white green. And copper green. Now let's do my mix. Blender action. Slide the paws inside, and then, as noted before, just like um, the hedgerows, uh, the replacement section, you're going to use your wire. Nice thin wire. 28 gauge is the, uh, is the actual size, in case you were wondering. I have a question about that. So it's just a thin 28 gauge wire. It's almost, it's almost a thin fishing line, actually. It's nice and pliable. You can bend it, and it's not going to snap on you. So we're just going to wind this in, like a scaffolding or a infrastructure. And there we go. Perfect. And just get something to glue to hang on to, and the foliage as well. So again, just like uh, just like working on the, uh, the hedgerows, you want to. Um, you want to uh, just work small sections at a time, just post to post to post. Uh, and another thing too is when you're setting it in, um, because the uh, edges are so close, um, you don't need to go uh, puffy out on the side. So really keeping it tight, I actually uh, put it on and clipped it with the scissors to make it very square. And it slides in and uh, the foam fluffs up, so it fills the gaps. So let's start applying the, uh, the glue. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of this. It's redundant after uh, after you do the first one. So, and I grab some foliage. Now, on the uh, replaceable sections, I've been using as big as clusters as I can. So you notice I didn't actually tear tear up uh, the pieces. Um, the bigger sections work great because it's such a small space to uh, grab onto. So keep them as large as you can get away with, while still maintaining the the tri-colored look. So. Um, you don't want to have huge areas of all one color, but uh, do your best to uh, maintain the uh, maintain the look you've been going going with the whole time. And certainly, you don't have to do the tri color. Otherwise, you can get rid of um, the tri color. You can do uh, all one color. You can do a base of a light uh, green with a with a top of dark, which looks really sharp. I'm actually going to do some hedgerows like that. I'm not going to do all uh, all the tricolor just because I think it starts to look a little too cosmetic after a while. And I'll show you how to do those, of course. Now, if you do go over the edge a little bit, don't worry. Because like I said, you can just take scissors and trim the foliage off. I'm just going to tuck that into the wire. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to do a little bit more here. And again, wrapping your spider webs around your column will help to eliminate them. They're really kind of annoying. And they get in the way. Also be careful that you don't go too far below the popsicle stick. Because, um, your it's fitting flush, and therefore, if you do go too low, uh, it actually will prevent your section from fitting in nicely. And I have glue all over my fingers, and I'm trying to get rid of it. There we go. So there we go. And just squeeze it all together. Like I said, if you have exposed areas you're missing, you can come back, tidy those up. And it gets a nice wild look. It doesn't need to be uh, doesn't need to be um, very cosmetic looking in terms of uh, of uh, being nice trimmed edges. This is not a groomed hedge. This is bocage. This is wild growing farm um, dividing hedgerows. The farmer does not spend time trimming them. So I'm just going to do that much for now. Like I said, you just continue to the end, and we're just going to come down in. And it goes this way, actually. And see how we did.
put that in nicely. Slide it into the bottom. There we go. And it seems to fit quite nice. You can see here. This trimmed edge. And there you have a little bit of a, a, a gap between, but that's that's perfectly fine. That's acceptable. You have those over here as well. So, uh, yeah, so you're just going to continue with that. And, um, and then you have your gap filled. And then you can pull those out and replace them with uh, the breakthrough sections. And we'll talk about that. One final note I just wanted to tell you. Um, down here you're going to see, or maybe you can, maybe you can't, um, but you see the exposed edge of the popsicle stick. You can paint those brown or whatever you want to give a nice base coat. Usually I do a nice brown on them just to darken it, not black because it's too dark. And then what I do is I come back in with my glue, my white glue, put a little edge right along there, right along the exposed edge, and then come back in with your dark block. And you have already have that on your, um, your rise anyways. So what that does is when it's in there, it just blends the seam and you don't even notice that the popsicle sticks there. I would be I wouldn't be surprised actually if when you're playing you actually forget where your breakthroughs are. Um, last night uh, I just did a little test on the family and I asked them if they could find the section that was removable. Nobody could find it, so that means I did my job. And I wouldn't be surprised when you uh, when you work at yours if you do the same thing. So uh, good luck on that, and I will uh, have another segment up tonight. So I will uh, um, see y'all later. Cheers.